सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वन सेकेंड दिस इज प्रसाद एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द चैनल डिस्कवर मोड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस एक्सचेंजेस सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गो So friends, here is your question number one. So let me tell you that friend, if you did not see the first part of this profit and loss, then I will provide you the link right here. Please click on that and go to that video. Then clear all of your concept. Then please come to this part. So friends, let me read out the <coughs> question first. If twenty four meters of wire is butted. Fourteen point five zero rupees. Okay, for per meter and sold at fifteen point seven five per meter. How much is gain? So every time you read the question, just try to put it on your note. That if I read the first sentence, <coughs> like if twenty four meter of wire is bought at fourteen point five zero rupees. means but means what it is the cost price so simply cost price is equal to 24 meters the quantity and it is 14.50 per meter means the total cost will be 24 into 14.50 <coughs> so doing the calcul calculation we get just simply multiply so 24 into 14.50 okay So um, I guess three hundred and forty-eight. So how can I do that? Don't need to multiply this thing. Okay, friends. So let's twenty-four into fourteen. What it twenty-four into fourteen means? What? Let's say it is twenty, not exactly twenty-four. It is twenty plus four. Okay. So fourteen into twenty. That is fourteen two zero two eighteen one zero and fourteen four zero fifty-six. So six eighteen or twenty eight five that is thirty three three hundred and thirty six and point five zero point five zero means it is actually half okay so twenty four half that is twelve so doing this we get three hundred and forty okay this may look like a very <coughs> lengthy process but trust me this is not actually if you practice on that how to calculate logically by thinking in your mind. Not doing such, such paperwork, you can do it very easily. Next thing, and sold at fifteen point seven five per meter. Sold means here is the selling price, and he is selling fifteen point seven five per meter. So the total selling price will be the quantity is twenty four multiplied with fifteen point fifteen point seven five. Sorry, friends. So fifteen point seven five. So doing this multiplication, twenty four into fifteen, twenty fifteen three hundred, three hundred and uh, okay, it will be three hundred and seventy eight, three hundred and seventy eight. Okay, if any uh, answer is wrong, then please comment down below. If it is okay, then okay, fine. So here, CP is three forty eight rupees and selling price is three seventy eight rupees. <coughs> so Here selling price is greater. Here selling price is greater than the cost price. So obviously this will be a profit. And as you know, profit is always find out by selling price minus cost price. So selling price is here three hundred and seventy eight. Three hundred and seventy eight minus CP is three hundred and forty eight. So my answer will be thirty. This is my answer. So friends, if any mistake you find, no, I don't think any mistake. But if you find, let me know. Okay. So I am a human being. So, होता है गलती है. Okay. Let's find. Let's go to the second question. So friends, so here is your question number two. Okay. This is your question number two. A man. But a chest of tea containing ninety kg, four two seven double zero, at what rate per kg should it be sold so that the profit may be four hundred and fifty rupees? So friends, 
<coughs> as if I said you that first read the question very carefully because if you didn't read it carefully then you may not solve it okay read it carefully okay and the next thing is that if you read the first line just write it down in your note a man bought a chest of tea containing 90 kg for 2700 that means the cp bought means is the cost price okay so cost price 90 kg it to 2700 okay at what rate per kg should it be sold okay here we have sold means selling price so that the profit is 450 so here the profit is given it is 450 as you know friends selling price is always the cost price plus profit selling price friend remember selling price is always cost price plus profit i already discussed here this part uh, actually my part one video so go to that <coughs> then come to this part. so selling price equal to cost price plus profit cost price is is given 2700 okay and profit is given 450 so what will be my selling price it will be 50 27 for 3 30 31 okay 3150 is my selling price but the question is not that it said at what rate per kg should sold so friends this selling price we got this is not per kg okay this selling price we got is for 90 kg okay because we have all the calculation based on the 90 kg <coughs> so 90 kg is selling price is 3150 so we have to find what rate per kg should it sold 90 kg the selling price will be 3150 so 1 kg what is the selling price simple 3150 divided by 90 one zero one zero got cancelled <coughs> okay let's say 315 by 9 so 3 uh, 9 3 is a 27 27 4 45 9 5 is a, okay so my answer will be 45 per kg if i sell this for, sorry uh, 35 per kg then my profit is 450 rupees so friends here is your question Mahesh bought 20 dozen pencil for 100 rupees so I have to write it on Mahesh bought means here is the cost price and the cost price for 20 dozen pencil oh my god is is 100 rupees 1 dozen means 12 pencil 20 dozen equal to 20 into 12 that is 240 pencil okay so i can say that the cost price of <coughs> 240 pencil 240 pencil that is 100 rupees okay next at what rate should a pencil a pencil means one pencil be sold so that the profit is 20 rupees cost price is given 100 rupees profit is given 20 rupees okay so what will be the selling price simple selling price will be the cost price <coughs> sorry friends uh, plus profit okay so cost price here is 100 rupees plus profit is 20 rupees so this will be 120 rupees but here the question asks that at what rate should a pencil means what is the selling price of a single pencil but the selling price we got is for 20 dozen or you can say 240 pencil so 240 pencils cp is 120 so what will be the selling price of one simple 120 divided by 240 uh, you can say 0 0 1 by 2 1 by 2 means you can say 0 0.50 pesa okay so the selling price of one pencil or single pencil that is 0 0.250 pesa i think it's quite simple okay so we'll go to the next 
so friends here is your question number four first very carefully read the question okay so out of 40 liters of milk the total quantity is 40 liter but at 6.50 per liter so simply note it down that but means as i said this is the cost price and the quantity is 40 liters okay 40 liters he bought at 6.50 per kg 6.50 per kg so what will be the cost price simple so 40 liter into 6.50 sorry that is not kg friends this is liter very very sorry so 40 into 6.50 that we got 4 6 to 40 and that is 260 so friends let me show you how to calculate the mul uh, multiplications part very fast actually so simply remember 40 into 6.50 how do you calculate that you have to multiply 40 into 650 no friends you don't have to do that how can you calculate simply 40 into 6 okay that is 240 fine and 40 into 0 0.50 friends remember 0 0.50 is nothing 1 by 2 means half okay so 40 is half that is 20 so it will be 260 easy i think easy okay next then 6 liter is lost by leakage the total amount the present was 40 liter okay the total amount the total quantity present was 40 liter and 6 liter of milk leakage okay due to lost by leakage so now the quantity of milk so 40 liter was present 6 liter leakage so it will be 34 liter <coughs> okay so 34 liter is now the now the quantity of the milk and it is asked that what is gained by selling the remaining milk at 8.25 per liter remaining milk is my 34 liter we have to solve it 8.25 per liter so my selling price will be remaining milk was 34 and it asked me to solve at 8.25 rupees so 8.25 rupees so doing this type of multiplication you can answer it or 34 into 8 okay 240 240 32 0.25 means 1 by 4th means fourth part so it will be okay uh it will be to wait so it will be 280.5 okay so first you 34 into 8 okay 34 into 8 do the calculation 34 into 8 also not like 34 into 8 it will be 30 plus 4 into 8 8 into 30 that is 240 4 into 8 32 so 252 okay and 34 into 0.25 remember friends 0.25 means 1 by 4 34 is 1 by 4 multiplication do the multiplication and all add all the three you will get the 280.5 <coughs> now friends cp we got 260 selling price we got that is 280.5 so here it is clearly uh, we got the selling price okay selling price is greater than cost price definitely it will be a profit and my profit will be selling price minus cost price okay so my selling price is 280.5 minus my cost price that is 260 so my answer will be 0.5 260 minus uh, 280 minus 260 that is 20.5 so 20.5 this is my answer okay friends if my teaching speed is very fast then please tell me i think this these are quite easy so i'm going so fast okay okay friends let's go to the next part so friends here is your question number five let me read out the first a dealer but rice at 486 per quintal okay a dealer bought rice but rice means this is a cost price this will be 486 okay per quintal per quintal okay let's say quintal one quintal and one quintal you know there is 100 kg okay and sold it 
the selling price is <coughs> 500 per quintal per quintal or you can say 100 kg if he made a profit of 56 so here the profit is 56 how many quintals did he buy and sell I think it is a quite easy one so friends here selling price is given 486 rupees selling price is given 486 rupees uh, sorry cost price 486 and selling price is given 500 rupees now it is clearly seen that the selling price is higher when selling price is higher then the cost price as you know we got the profit my profit will be selling price minus cost price <coughs> selling price is 500 minus cost price is 486 so what will be my profit it will be 14 okay right 14 14 rupees but it is the profit per one quintal per one quintal my profit is 14 rupees okay but in question given that the profit have to be 56 rupees so if one quintal give me profit of 14 rupees then how many quintal give me the profit of 56 one quintal give me 14 rupees okay we, i have to and 56 rupees profit means here 4 is multiplied if one quintal give 14 rupees profit then simply multiply 4 here so 4 quintal give me 56 rupees so my answer will be 4 quintal okay if you did understand this good but let's show you how 1 quintal give me 14 rupees okay let's say x quintal give me 56 rupees so this will be 1 divided by x means it will be 1 by x equal to 14 by 56 1 1 by 4 my x will so here x will be 4 okay simply remember one quintal give me 14 rupees then how many quintal give me 56 rupees if you still didn't understand let me show you one quintal give me 14 rupees two quintal give me 20 rupees three quintal give me 42 rupees and four quintal give me 56 rupees okay so my answer will be four quintal is my answer so friend this is the end of this video in the next part i am going to solve you the percentage profit and loss all the examples and also the exercises this video is also quite important for the competitive exams like bank sec railway nda okay don't think it's just a class 8 cvc medium okay it, it is also quite important for the upcoming exams so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up do share with your friends, like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe my channel friends. And one last thing, if you want to get updates, then please do one thing that, let me show you, that first you have to do, go to your WhatsApp, then add this number, 7205-310-492, 7205-310-492. And add this to your phone and type subscribe and type subscribe and send it to this whatsapp number so any new video will be on my channel this will be <coughs> i will send you the link okay so thank you so much for watching have a nice day